Alright mga vampires, uh, welcome back to my channel. So dahil malapit na ang PMAEE, no? so I think one way to prepare is just check the coverage ng PMAEE. One, one coverage dyan is yung algebra. And one thing na you have to consider in uh, uh, reviewing is you have to go to the basics. Okay? So one basic you have to know is yung order of operation. Na, tingnan natin kung ano yung principles of order of operation kasi napaka-importante niya. Pag hindi natin alam 'yan, uh, it would uh, give us a wrong solution and definitely a wrong result. Okay? Panoorin din natin tong isang uh, video na uh, nakita ko. Sa tingin ko malaking tulong. Hi, welcome to Math Antics. Today we're going to talk about an important math concept called order of operations. Order of operations is just a set of math rules that tell you which math operations, like addition or multiplication, to do first. Now you might be wondering, especially if you're a teenager, why do I need rules to tell me which operations to do first? Can't I just do them in any order I want? Well, that's a really good question. And to answer it, we're going to give two totally different people the same math problem to solve. The problem is 2 plus 5 times 4. Hmm. Okay. So, bakit ba mahalaga yung order of operation? Kung mapapansin nyo sa mga reviewer, uh, more specifically sa PMAEE coverage, marami kayo may kitang complex equation, complex problem that uh, uh, involves different operations such as uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponent, fraction, decimals, no? halo-halo sa isang math problem. So, it's very important to determine kung paano i-solve yun through the basic principles of order of operation. So, ito yung pinag-aaralan natin. Tingnan natin kung ano yung uh, mga basics nito. I like addition better than multiplication, so I'm gonna do that first. Let's see, 2 plus 5 gives us 7. And then I just multiply that 7 by the 4, and I get 28. That was easy. But you'd better not copy my answer. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to copy your answer because I want the right answer. And I prefer multiplying. So I'm going to do that first. Let's see. 4 times 5 equals 20. And then I'll add the 2, which gives me 22 for a final answer. What makes you think that's the right answer? All my calculations were correct. I even checked it with a calculator. <laughs> the only calculator I need is right up here. And the correct answer is... Boop, 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 boop. 22 Okay, so Okay, so if you can see, no, yung sample problem uh, Kung hindi mo alam yung order of operation Hindi mo masabi kung sino ang tama at sino ang mali no? Tama yung sinasabi niya eh, Kahit gumamit siya ng calculator Ang point doon is uh, Hindi mo rin pwede sabihin mali yung isa Kasi eh, Kung titingnan mo naman yung pagkagawa niya ah, Tama din but the point is, in mathematics, there are rules that we have to follow. Kaya, ba balik tayo sa basic. Which one of these guys do you think is right? Neither one made any mistakes with the calculations. They just did the operations in a different order and got different answers. Well, since there were no mistakes, in a way, they were both right. But math would be a very confusing subject if there were different answers to the same problem. And that's where order of operations can help us out. The order of operations rules are a way for us all to agree on the order that you should do math operations in. And if we always do operations in the same order, then we'll always get the same answer. So now... Okay, ang sinasabi niya doon, order of operation, dapat uh, lahat nag agree So meaning, accepted na yan, principle, in terms of uh, solving problems. So hindi pa pwedeng mabaliktad para isa lang synchronized standard, para isa lang din ang sagot. Let you know why we need order of operations rules, let's find out what those rules are. There are basically four of them, and they go something like this. First, do operations in parentheses and brackets. Next, do exponents. Hmm. Then, do multiplication and division. Last, do addition and subtraction. Let's take a closer look at each of these rules and see some examples where they help us. First on the list was do operations in parentheses and brackets. Now, in case you haven't seen parentheses or brackets used in math before, let me briefly explain how they work. Parentheses are just these symbols that curve forwards and backwards. 
and they're used in pairs like this. And when we put numbers and operators in between them, it forms a group. It's almost like the parentheses form a package to hold whatever math stuff we put inside them. And brackets work exactly the same way as parentheses. They just have a different shape that looks a little more boxy, but they mean exactly the same thing. So parentheses and brackets are used to group things together, and our rules tell us to do any operations inside these groups first. For example, All right. So, napakalagay na emphasize na, no? First, you do the order of operation uh, classifying group. No? Kapag nakakita ka ng uh, parentheses or brackets at may, or may mga numbers sa loob nun, ang tawag doon group. So, in a complex equation, uunahin mo daw yon Kung anong nandun doon sa loob ng parentheses at ng brackets. Okay? First. Have a look at this problem. 10 times 4 plus 5. It has three numbers and two operations, multiplication and addition. Mm -hmm. But two of the numbers and the addition symbol are inside parentheses. That means that they form a group and we need to do that part of the problem first. 4 plus 5 equals 9. So the part inside the parentheses can just be replaced with the simplified value 9. Oh. And once you do the math that's inside parentheses and get a single number like this, you usually don't need to show the parentheses anymore. <coughs> now that the parentheses are gone, we just have one operation left to do. We multiply 10 times 9, and that gives us 90 as our final answer. So parentheses can really help you know what part of a problem you're supposed to do first. But what if you get a problem that has more than one set of parentheses, like this? 5 minus 3 plus 6 times 2. Fortunately, it doesn't matter which set of parentheses you do first. You just need to do everything that's inside the parentheses before you do anything that's not inside parentheses. In other words... Okay. So, in-emphasize niya ulit, no? Kahit may isang group or group of parentheses or isang may iba pa, so, it doesn't matter, no? Kahit mauna yung isa o isa, basta ang una mong gagawin is before you make certain operations you have to solve or simplify first kung ano yung nandun sa loob ng parentheses or nandun sa group then we need to simplify both of our parentheses groups before we can do the addition in between them the first group 5 minus 3 simplifies to 2 and the second group 6 times 2 simplifies to 12 now we can do the last operation and add the values that we got from simplifying 2 plus 12 to, equals 14. To, uh, okay, this, this now that we reason. know that we always do operations in parentheses or brackets first, let's take a closer look at the second rule that says the next thing we do is exponents. Now, if you haven't seen exponents before, they're just a way of writing repeated multiplication. For example, the repeated multiplication 4 times 4 can be written in a shorter form as 4 multiplied twice. And 4 times 4 times 4 can be written as 4 multiplied 3 times. And 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 can be written as 4 multiplied 4 times. Get the idea? This small number is called an exponent, or power. It just tells you how many times to multiply the bigger number together. So after we take care of any parentheses, simplifying any exponents becomes the next highest priority. For example, in this problem, we have to simplify the exponent before we can do the other multiplication. The exponent is telling us to multiply 5 together twice. So 5 times 5 is 25. And after we do that, then we multiply the result by 3. So 25 times 3 is 75. Oh, and one thing I should point out. Sometimes you'll get a problem that has exponents inside of parentheses, like this problem. Mm -hmm. And you may wonder, how can I get rid of the parentheses before I do the exponents? You might think that if you simplify the exponent first, you're breaking the rules. But the truth is that by doing whatever operations are inside the parentheses, you are doing the parentheses first. The parentheses really just tell you where to start. So in this pro Okay, no? So, in-explain niya rito na sa loob ng parentheses, may exponent, may uh, another group, or any other complex numbers. So, the point is, because may order of operation, no, you have to consider kung ano yung group or parentheses or bracket. So, unahin mo kung ano sa loob. Regardless kung ano man yung uh, complex number nandodon. Katulad nito, 3 squared times 4. So, inuuna niya yun. 
First we do 3 to the power of 2, which means 3 times 3, which is 9. Then the part inside the parentheses is 9 times 4, which equals 36. And once the parentheses are gone, we add 36 plus 6 and get 42 as our final answer. Alright, now we're going to look at the last two rules together. These two rules are really important because they deal with the most common math operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And okay, before we proceed, itong last two uh, order of operation, karamihan dito lang nagpo-focus. They are ignoring yung dalawa. Yung first two, parentheses and brackets, and uh, exponents. Ini-ignore nila yun, uh, dito dumidiretso, no? Ito yung most common na narinig natin yung MDAS. Multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. Pakinggan natin kung paano nyo ito yung explain. Rules tell us that we need to do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. Mm -hmm. To see how these rules work, let's look at a few quick examples that use those basic operations. First, let's try this one. 2 plus 5 times 4. Aha! Does this look familiar? Yep. It's the one we gave to my two friends earlier. And now that we have our rules, we see that we have to do the multiplication before the addition. 5 times 4 equals 20, and then we add the 2, which gives us 22. So the second guy was right. What a surprise! <laughs> now let's try this one. 3 times 5 minus 1. The rules tell us that multiplication is higher on the list than subtraction, so we do 3 times 5 first. And that gives us 15, and then we subtract the 1, which leaves 14 as our final answer. Here so, napaka-simple nung problem, no? Pero kung hindi mo alam yung basic principles na sinasabi ko, well, we have to know the basic principles, hindi mo yan makukuha. Malakas, malaki ang chance na hindi mo na magkakamali ka. Here's one with division and subtraction. 20 minus 10 divided by 5. Mm. And since division has a higher priority, we do the 10 divided by 5 first, which equals 2. And then we subtract 2 from 20 and get 18 as our final answer. And here's another problem. 12 divided by 6 plus 5. Again, our rules say to do the division before addition. So 12 divided by 6 equals 2. And then we add the 5 to get 7. And here's one last problem. 40 divided by 4 times 5. Which do we do first? The multiplication or division? Our rules don't tell us. Well, that's because multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance. So are addition and subtraction. And that's the reason we need an extra part at the end of each of these rules that says from left to right. right. If you have a... Very important yun, no? Yung uh, sinasabi niya, kapag magkasamang operation ng multiplication and division, baka makonfuse na tayo kung anong unahin. So, dahil yung multiplication and division is nasa third priority, so, may additional uh, instruction na sinasabi niya, you do from left to right. No? Multiplication and division from left to right. Okay? Kahit parehong, pareho siya ng priority, third, but you have to prioritize first yung nasa left bago yung right. Problem that has both multiplication and division, then you're supposed to work it from left to right. That's because in some cases, you can get a different answer if you go from right to left. For example, in this problem, if you work from right to left the wrong way, you would do the 4 times 5 first and get 20. And then 40 divided by 20 equals 2. But if you go from left to right, you would do 40 divided by 4 first, which is 10. And then 10 times 5 equals 50. Wow, the direction we went made a big difference. So whenever you have a problem that has a mixture of multiplication and division, or a mixture of addition and subtraction, you know to do the operations in order from left to right. Alright, we're just about done. But let's have one more look at all four of our rules before you start practicing with the exercises. The order of operations rules say, First, do operations in parentheses and brackets. Next, do exponents. Then, do multiplication and division from left to right. Mm -hmm. Last, do addition and subtraction from left to right. All right, that does it for this video. So, kung makikita nyo, yun yung uh, doon nakuha yung acronym na PEMDAS. P stands for expon uh, 
ano yan, parentheses and brackets then uh, e exponents then md multiplication and division from left to right then addition and subtraction from left to right okay so napaka basic niyan so let's go back to basic one way to pass to have a high chance of passing the PMAEE is go back to basic so itong PEMDAS you have to do this uh, often practice practice para ma-identify mo kung paano uh, i-apply yung operation I hope you know again this is 14526 signing off